<laughs> it's adorable. <laughs> now, I know who you are. Do you want to tell everyone else who you are? I'm Sophie. <laughs> By the way, somebody has a bit of a crush on you. My son, Eric. Oh! He's shy. Nobody's so mad at you. He's flirting. Uh, Sophie, what would you do with one million dollars? Um, I don't really care what that bad boy. I just want to sing for everyone and make them happy. Does that mean, Sophie, if you win, we don't need to give you the million dollars? Yes. OK, well, then I really hope you do well. All right, good luck. Thank you. Sophie, you are officially the youngest ever America's Got Talent contestant. Do you know that? Wow. Yes. 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 Sophie, that was really you singing? Yes. Honestly? Because that shouldn't happen. <laughs> you shouldn't even be able to remember the words, let alone I sing know. like that with the key change and everything. Amazing. Thank you. Who taught you how to sing like that? A uh, French Nata. Ah, great, yeah. great. Mr. Frank Sinatra taught you how to sing like that. You had a good teacher. Mel, what did you think? You know, when you hold on to those long notes, you have like a really rich vibrato, which is so strange that I'm even saying that because you're only five. Oh, look at her face. Have you been told that you are crazy cute? Thank you. Well, we're going to be talking about you later, so great. Great well stuff. Done. Well done. Thank great you. Job, Galaxy together as father and son, but first judge these guys.
One hop this time. One hop this time. Right foot two starts. Left foot two starts. Slide to the left. Slide to the right. Cha cha, real smooth. Turn it up. Let's go to work.
bright as it shines on the sea. It's blinding, but no one knows how deep it Well, underneath this cloth is something really special, and we're going to get back to it in a bit. Now, because I'm a magician, my children have grown up watching magic almost every single day of their lives. About a year ago, my little boy Dylan told me that he wants to become a magician too. And when I told him I was auditioning for Britain's Got Talent, he came up with an amazing idea, and I'd like to share that with you today. Dylan has given me a list of different things that he would like for his birthday. It contains 56 different items. Simon, would you call out the number from one to 56? 25. 25. Where are my notes? Right there. You can see that I have one list. It's Dylan's birthday list. Yep. And it contains 56 different items. Yep. Would you please remember what's at number 25? Don't say what it is. I've got it. And we'll get back to it in a bit. Yeah. Now most children get bedtime stories before they go to sleep. I used to show mine card tricks, and you can see that all of these cards are different. Would you please touch the back of any one? This one? Yeah. Now it's okay if we all see what it is. It is the five of hearts. Simon, would you please think of someone who's really special in your life? And would you print their name in big letters? It's okay if I see Eric. This is your little boy, right? Yeah. Cool. Okay. Would you please hold your hand out for me? And would you please put your other hand on top? Now I want you all to watch this really closely, because something extraordinary is about to happen. It's gone. Take a look. Simon's card has completely disappeared. Wow. <laughs> It's in here. No. My name is Dylan Piper, and that's my dad. Before we came here tonight, he gave me his wallet, and inside this wallet is something impossible. Simon, this wallet was inside Dylan's pocket before you picked your card, and that's what makes this so impossible, because inside this wallet there is another wallet, and inside this wallet there is a zip. Now the only way in is if I undo this zip. Yep. And inside is a folded-up playing card. Take a look and show everyone. No way. Oh, oh my, my God. God. <laughs> That is so good. Simon, it's fair to say that you could have had any card. Yeah. But you picked the five of hearts. Yes. We knew this from the very beginning, and to prove it, I brought along my twin brother Joseph. What? The sax is just getting better and better. The relationship between a father and a son is a truly magical one. Simon, you know this being father yourself. Your little boy is called Eric. Simon and Eric.
the very beginning, you chose a random item from my birthday list. Yes, I did. Would you please tell everyone what it is? Uh, it was number 25 and it was a jet ski. A jet ski? Simon and Eric riding a jet ski. Give it up for my good buddy, Foster. Ready, buddy? Yeah, here we go. Hello. Here we are, buddy, AGT. My cloud is working. What's your plan? Well, basically, I used you to snuggle me out here, and now I'm going to show my talent. Dude. What's your talent? Then chiloquism. <laughs> That's what I'm doing right now. Really? Yes. <laughs> you think you're a better ventriloquist than me? You think you could talk without moving your lips? Well, I don't have any, so yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's see who's the better ventriloquist by doing some tongue twisters. I'll start by saying Sally sells seashells by the seashore, and then you go after. Okay, okay. Sally sells sea... Sally, come on! Okay. Sally, it's like this. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. <laughs> Can you do that without moving your mouth? <laughs> no, no, I can't. I love him. I'm gonna do something I said I would never do. You wouldn't. I would. Please. No. I'm gonna throw your voice. What? What? Wow. I threw your voice, it's gone. It's gone, it's over there. Wait, 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 listen, listen, I, I think I hear it coming back. <laughs> what? I... I have your voice. <laughs> and, and that means... I have your voice. <laughs> wow! Simon. Yes. Help me. <laughs> Here, here, come here, come here. Oh, that's better. Here, give it up for Foster, everybody. Yeah. Yeah.
My name is Brandon Paul Hammer. Yep. And this is my dad, John. Okay, father and son. Uh, and John, how old are you? Uh, old enough to be his dad. <laughs> Similar to you, I would say. Okay, 35. And there you go. <laughs> and you, Brandon? I just turned 12. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. That kick in a book. We're closer than ripples that play in a brook. We're alone but far from blue. Here we go. He's mine, the shadow. Daddy and me. I'm in absolute heaven. What an amazing double act oh, you make. You so much. Your tapping is fantastic. Well done. I tell you why I liked it, Brandon, because you liked it. You and Eric could, could do that. I was thinking that it could be you and Eric one day. Could just see you up there doing a little jig. <laughs> yeah. We'll get a vote. David. I am, of course, going to say yes. It's a yes from me. It's a yes from me. Guys, got four yeses. Congratulations. Thank you. It's a beautiful day. Can't stop myself. 
Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Well done. Brilliant. Well done. Well done, gentlemen. Well, well, well done. Well Good done. work. You like that? You like it? And listen, you're lovely to watch together and go and celebrate together. You deserve it. Thank well you, done. Man. No, 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 no. Not the buzzer. No, because it's loud. No, no more, no more. No. God. Come on, pal. Okay, can you ask the guy with the glasses to go and stand at the corner? We can't use it. Okay, sure. You in the corner. I can't use it. Put it in the corner. In the corner. Back facing. I'm serious. All right, just stand in the corner. The guy with the blue shirt. Same thing. We can't use you. Take that corner, sir. Start screaming at them. Can you all face the wall? Face the wall. Everybody, face the wall. Don't turn around. Welcome. experience is something you can buy when you purchase your ticket. You don't have to be some super important person. Would experience. you like to speak to the manager? Um, excuse me, what's been the problem? Manager, boss, it wasn't me. It wasn't me, it was him that was saying it. You almost got me killed. <laughs> Sorry. What do you think of Simon Powell? Do you think um, he's handsome? By the way, excuse me, you're fired. Get out of here. Oh, my God. <laughs> what is going on? OK, Darcy. Check your mirrors Checking. before any movement. I can't see myself anymore. Safety first. There's a lot of dummies on the road. And the biggest one is talking into a megaphone. Take your foot off the brake and start moving toward the course. Take moving. your foot off the... Stop, stop, stop. <gasps> Sorry, little stop. Simon. Back up. I want you to start from the top. Forwards, forward, slow, forward, stop. Back up. Uh. Forward. Oh, you just pulled back. me back. OK, stop. You are going now the average speed during rush hour on an LA freeway. So without moving, I want you to sit here now for two and a half hours. This is pretty realistic. I'm going to present to you the roast of Simon Cowell. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Pants! The sacks are coming off tonight. <laughs> now, something we may not know is that Simon is a vegan, which is weird because he's got beef with everybody. <laughs> and sure, he can be a little intimidating, but folks, he's just like the rest of us, all right? He puts his pants on, well, actually, his assistant puts his pants on one leg at a time. <laughs> That wasn't Simon's cup of tea, and that's okay. As a pair of pants, I spend a lot of time around old farts. <laughs> but Simon, you've been a fantastic sport. Please give it up for Simon, everybody. What word do you think he's thinking of, and vice versa? What do you think Howie is thinking of? One word. And when I count to three, you're gonna say that word out loud. Clear your mind. Okay. This is a mind-reading technique to show that you guys are in perfect sync. Okay. okay. Read her mind. Three, two, one. Shoes! <laughs> Earring and shoes. <laughs> Look each other deeply in the eyes, deeply. Three, two, one. Nice! Look at each other deeply. Understand each other. Three, two, one. This is freaky! <laughs> Lipstick! Feel the power. Word? Have it? Yeah, yeah. Have it? I got it. Three, two, one. Handsome. handsome. What? Did y'all say handsome? Handsome! That was not, by the way. This is crazy. I, I handsome. swear on my life, that was not press. <laughs> We didn't plan that. We got this, you know, we were deliberated a lot about whether we put you through to the final. I think Howie in particular didn't want you to be here. Ah, yes. And no, I said, no, no, you know what? No. I don't care what you say, Howie. No. They're going through to the finals. And you know what? I was right. And you know what I love about you? It's different. And it's yeah. difficult. Okay. And I like people who take that moment. And you took that moment. 
and we're going to remember yeah. you. For me, yeah. best act of the night, only two are going through, remember. You've got to vote. Howie Canada represent! Yeah, he's a liar, eh? <laughs> no, I'm he's not. He's a real liar, eh? <laughs> the only <laughs> thing I'm mad at <laughs> is <laughs> that you weren't on <laughs> Canada's <laughs> Got Talent. <laughs> <laughs> you would have won <laughs> Canada's Got Talent. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are so <laughs> fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Terry, Howard. <laughs> oh my God, I'm crying. I'm actually crying. Who's funnier? <laughs> Nobody. Makeup. I want to need some makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. How you doing? Doing amazing. Well, I just cannot wait to perform with you tonight. Me neither. All right. See you there. All right. It's going to be great. Preacher, do you need a minute? I studied what profession for three years? I know what it was. Dentistry, because she has amazing teeth. She's going to be a dentist. You want to know why I know that? They don't show this backstage she will actually floss my teeth. Imagine if you turn up and guess who's your dentist, Sofia Vergara. That sounds so sexy. <laughs> It'd be like, you know what, I'll have a filling out a week. How many Emmys have I been nominated for? I'm gonna say seven. Two Emmys. Seven times, let's just go for the seven. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm guessing, I don't know. Four. You didn't let me finish. I was gonna say two times two. Well, she should have got more. Welcome to Buzzer Buddy. Zoe, if you were cleaning out Simon's closet, what would you throw away first? If I was cleaning out Simon's uh, closet? You've got very minimal choices here, because he wears the same thing. Yes. It's, oh, uh, it's oh. between the white t-shirt <laughs> and the white dress shirt. And or the bell-bottom pants. The white t-shirt. The white Simon, everything. <laughs> Oh, that is everything. It. You know what? <laughs> yeah. I am going to give you that point. That is everything. I am giving you that point. What do you think, audience? They deserve that point. That's pretty much all that Simon wears. Who do you think has got a tattoo of you on them? Obviously, David. You're going to say, David, right? Would the judge who has the tattoo please reveal themselves? <laughs> oh, 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 David, it is. Tattoo. This is the thing. Let's see the tattoo. 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 You know what? I'm not paid enough money to deal with that. Seriously, I tell you something. I actually feel sick. But what That's is weird. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Do you want to show it again? Right. Thank you. Weirdo. I didn't like it. I did it for you. Oh. What is the one thing about Simon that you hate? Oh, my God. I didn't like it. Oh, my God. You know it's the one thing about Simon that you don't know that you would like to know? Oh, good question. Oh, no. You know everything, don't David. you? David. Good question. <laughs> <laughs> don't go there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I like you, I like your baby. Uh, you, you've got a contract for next year. Um, you can have a two-year extension. Of I would like. It, I mean, we are after the watershed, are we? Yes. No, we're not. No, we're not. Oh, yes. No, we're not. We're not after the watershed. I would like to see David inside his house. Oh. He's never invited. These two girls have been to his house. Right. I, I haven't. Why, why has David never been to your house? He's scared. I don't really like him that much. <laughs> <laughs> and while I'm at his house, I'd like to see his <laughs> How would Simon rank his fellow judges in a number of different categories? Gang, gang! 
Right, so first up, don't say what it is. Have a little look there. Sorry, I'm just distracted there. <laughs> I know, right? That's the first one, OK? Don't say it out loud. Who's going number one, two or three? Um, Hang on, uh, one, two, Alicia, four. three. Where's Amanda, Brian? Amanda, two. <laughs> David, number one. Right, David's number one. But what is he number one for? Let's have a little look. It is for... Biggest Steve! Biggest Steve! Thank you. How are you feeling about that, David? You feeling happy about that? What a treat. Right, here's your next one. Oh, OK. Um, David, number three, please. David, number three. OK. Who's going number one? And the two girls go to number one, please. Two girls to number one. And David's in last position on this one. And the subject topic was... Who do you like the most? <laughs> What are three things that you love about yourself? Um, humility, uh, yes, uh, charm, Humble. good looks, humility, generous, uh, I like people, I wear great clothes, I'm funny, um, I'm great fun to have dinner with and breakfast and lunch, um, great to go on holiday with, um, I like guys, I like girls, I like animals. I know you do! <laughs> Let's replay that clip again. <laughs> we have evidence, ladies and gentlemen. I like girls. I like guys. Thank you. <laughs> you finally said it. And you like animals as well? We're not going there. David. Simon is head judge. But out of the three of you, who would you say is his deputy? Out of the three, who's the deputy judge? <laughs> Cheers, mate. Right, Simon, do you have your answer ready? Yeah, I do. Good stuff. OK, Amanda first. Oh, you're going for yourself. Yes. Alicia, you're going for yourself as well. <laughs> there we go. David's just finished. He's gone for Amanda because... Oh, David. <laughs> oh, my God, you can't write that. <laughs> You've actually crossed the line. <laughs> Good. Christopher's upstairs. David, who... <laughs> Simon... Oh, hey. Who's the... Who you really are a smutty little man. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> get out. Hi, Simon. How are you? Um, you are my family's favourite judge, believe it or not. I do believe it. Um, but if you had to choose between your America's Got Talent judging panel or your Britain's Got Talent oh, judging hello, panel... Oh, hello, hello, hello. Which one is your favourite and why? Oh. Well, to be fair... They are more intelligent in America. Ooh, in America, In America, right. yeah. Uh, no, they are. I don't mean that disrespectfully. They just you are... don't mean that disrespectfully? No, they are more intelligent. <laughs> um, what, Heidi Klum? <laughs> <laughs> She's thick as pig shit. <laughs> no. now, now, he, now he can't be sacked. He'll just say anything he wants. Exactly See, as I said, he'll be out of control. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Taking that to a side, um, look, it's difficult. I like them both. Uh, I like these guys because they're sort of stupid. <laughs> what is the best thing about being Simon Cowell? Oh, the best thing about being you. Well, as Cat, right? Is yeah, hi. When I was uh, at school and I was very bored. Briefly. Yeah, briefly, yeah. I kind of thought, <laughs> hopefully when I'm older, I can do a job where I have fun and I don't have horrible bosses. And now I have a job which is honestly the most fun in the world. Uh, so and that's... you are the horrible boss. <laughs> and I'm the horrible boss. <laughs> David, we've seen a lot of good magic acts on the show so far. But don't you agree with me that the real magic on the show has to be Simon? That's a great that question. A question for you. What's his name? Um, Karen. Karen, that's a great question. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's magical how a man of 85 still looks like that. I mean, <laughs> he's, had, he's had some assistance of some kind, is not he? <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> Thank um, you. Yeah, it is, it is magic. He, it is fun. I actually, the weird thing is, although I know you pretty well, I actually do get starstruck every time I see you. I go, oh my God, it's like a cow! Every time <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. That's, you, that's weird. Do you get starstruck with him? No. There you go. 